Hey guys, it's 11.30 a.m. on October 10th, 2017, and I just want to go over some basic facts with you guys about fires. The average house fire burns at a temperature of about 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit, which isn't hot enough to destroy most metals and earthly made substances. And if an item is well-placed and small in size, its chances of survival increase drastically. Let's take a look at the burning point of a couple of materials. Glass burns at around 20, 2,600 to 2,900 degrees Fahrenheit, which is more than double the regular temperature of house fires or forest fires. Let's see what we can find out about aluminum. Aluminum melts at around 1,220 degrees. Some alloys burn a little bit hotter, uh, around 1,900 degrees. Now let's take a look at what the National Institute of Fire Safety and Safety Training say what will not generally burn in a house fire. Jewelry, because it's metal. Silver coins, because they're metal. Filing cabinets, steel cabinet, steel filing cabinets are built to last so that businesses won't have to deal with the loss of important files after building fires. Many people keep personal documents in filing cabinets, which are often kept in home, in home offices. And it says here that uh, mil, me, silver burns around 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go down to barbecue grills, cookware, some appliances, stone table, fire safes. Um, let's see, it says here about tools. Because the melting point of carbon steel is between 2600 and 28 degrees Fahrenheit. And the melting point of stainless steel is roughly 2700 degrees. So you're not going to see your barbecues melt. You're not going to see your ovens and your uh, most of your appliances. They're not going to melt. They'll be burned, they'll be damaged, but they're not going to melt. It's common to find an appliance or two that remains intact. There's chaos around there, but many appliances these days are made with stainless steel, which gives them a sleek and design durability. So a lot of people have these things, but the metal, the frame itself of these things is not going to melt. So let's take a peek at what happened here. Well, let me just show you some pictures here of normal house fires, what, what's usually left afterwards. There's a bunch of rubble and everything's black. Usually, usually the frames of the buildings stand. And there's a bunch of crap around the trees, or in, you know, around the place, buildings. This, the frame of the building stays intact. The, the entire building does not disappear. There's still debris. There's a huge debris field after these things. You see, there's like gutters and stuff. And the wood, even though it does burn, it doesn't totally burn. Now, this is white stuff from what they put the fire out with, but, but generally you see that all of these houses, every one of them, is black. Now, this, this car was right next to a fire, and it still has glass. Its wheels are still intact. It was actually, this thing actually burned, but it didn't melt the tires. It didn't melt the glass of the vehicle. You see all the rubble? This is just rubble because these pl these places implode. They, I mean, after the, the structure falls apart, it collapses. But you still see they're all singed. They're all black. And even in the forest fires, the, the trees themselves are still black. And you can see, you know, you have bricks on the bottom, and not all the aluminum siding or, or, or vinyl siding melts. Look at this, this structure, the outward frame of the, of, the, of the house still stands. But that's not what we see in these crazy forest fires. The entire things just disappear. Should, should be visible to the people with eyes to see. Here's the build, here's this neighborhood before. And I want you to look, you guys, there's absolutely nothing left. You don't see any part of any of the structures anywhere. This isn't possible. There's something else going on here.
to be playing with this to. thing. Alleged to. Alleged to, right. Yeah. Now, we realize that for decades now, these governments have been alleged to have experimented with weather control, but nothing conclusive. This time we're bigging in the laws of physics rather than simply uh, waving our hands and uttering mumbo jumbo. We're actually using trillion watt lasers now. Laser by the power of one watt. And if you don't want to use your energy to strike your match, you can just hold it in the beam of light. A one watt laser can light a match. Imagine then the power of a 500 trillion watt laser. That's exactly what they've built here at the National Ignition Facility in California, where engineers have just finished constructing the laser to end all lasers. And now we're learning that scientists and researchers are looking at how to change the weather on purpose. That's right, lasers now. This was uh, from the military news. It's about uh, aircraft laser-borne weaponry, a Boeing YAL-1. And look for the blue flashes, folks. That's what we saw in the skies. Those are the lasers being used, that they're pulsing the electromagnetic fields of plasmic energy uh, that they excite with the winds in order to direct the direct field. See the blue? These are caused by these laser beams. And we'll get into the whole thing about lasers and when they're created here in a little bit. But look at the blue, folks. That's what many, many comments, and I saw it as well, we saw blue sparks or flashes in the sky. And that's what they were, is these little blue beams of laser energy right there. See it? That's what we saw. So this is proof pretty positive that this was a laser-directed, directed energy weapons used on the uh, Northern Cal fires here. Um, uh, this is in the coffee district here, which we're talking about, that got attacked. Um, notice they're completely obliterated. All right, so this is uh, Santa Rosa in the area. This is pictures uh, similar to the ones I took the other day in the coffee district area. Again, you can see the ridge fires coming up. Take a look at this, folks. See the stain, a stone block wall? It's all gone, folks. The heat had to be enough to melt the wall. Columns were melted. Wrought iron steel melted. No glass. 2,600 degrees to melt glass. No glass. How about metal uh, tires? We saw the rims, and there's no rubber at all on any of the tires. The rubbers were completely gone. Well, here it says in sciencing, if you put a rubber tire in a furnace, even a hot one, it won't melt. The tires are vulcanized, which means they're through a process that combines the rubber molecules with carbon and other elements to prevent them from oxidizing or burning. It's why hot rodders can burn rubber without setting anything on fire. And the fires are said to merge. They're bringing people down, firemen from um, Idaho, Washington, Oregon. They're planning it to merge and continue on. This is a picture from down the road. There's a Hilton Hotel, or what was the Hilton Hotel, and the Fountain Grove Inn right below it, which was. But look at the steel. Look at the steel melted and twisted, folks. That means the temperatures was above 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. It wasn't a firestorm because it happened right away. This was a USA something wildfire. So this is, this is a new trend we're seeing where the entire building just disappears. There's absolutely nothing left, and that's what we're seeing again here. And This is becoming a growing trend, guys. There's no explanation for it. I want to show you a couple of things here that should really be visible to the people with eyes to see. Here's the build, Here's this neighborhood before. And I want you to look, you guys. There's absolutely nothing left. You don't see any part of any of the structures anywhere. This isn't possible. There's something else going on here something else going on here the entire entire building everything everything's gone but the trees one washing machine but where are the granite countertops where are the glass doors where's any of the metal framing where's the bricks where's any of the stuff that held these houses together and why isn't there any rubble but the tree is still standing and the, sh and the grasses are still here but the cars that were left have no glass they're all smashed to pieces. Look at this, the garbage cans. Come on, guys, all the garbage cans are here. But look at
at the cars. Look at the condition of these vehicles. Look at this. This is all smashed and bent. And look at the twigs on the ground. These things should have caught on fire. How come there's how come there's pine needles and stuff all in the path? Why isn't there anything standing whatsoever but the trees? This is supposed to be a forest fire. How come the forest didn't catch on fire? Not even the tree branches. Look at there's just twigs and stuff everywhere. Why did the twigs not burn? But every single solitary piece of 2 by 4 that built these houses is standing. I mean, isn't standing. It's gone. It's all disappeared. There's no aluminum siding. There's no bricks. There's nothing. 